एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ यूनिट एट दैट इज मेजरमेंट्स एंड इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी विल बी डूइंग द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू मेजरमेंट ऑफ वेट दैट इज मास एंड वी विल बी अप्लाइंग द सेम फॉर्मूला दैट इज किंग हेनरी डाइड बट द ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट यूनिट इज नाउ चेंज्ड सो किंग हेनरी डाइड ग्रैंड मदर डिड नॉट क्राई मच अर्लियर वी वर डूइंग मदर डिड नॉट क्राई मच मदर means m for meter now grandmother means g for gram so this is milligram centigram decigram then gram decagram hectogram and kilogram so let's get started the first question is convert into kilograms now in this question we need to convert the given units into kilograms so first one is 593 grams obviously if we have to convert gram into kilogram we need to go three steps above so whenever we go upward it means we are converting into higher units for that we need to divide so when we will come downward it means we are converting into lower units at that time we will multiply so here we have to divide it so how many steps we are going upward three steps so the denominator will be 1000 and whenever we are dividing a number by 1000 or 1000 so we need not to go for long division method what we have to do if the denominator is 1000 write the numerator and before three digits from the right side put decimal means if the denominator is 1000 there are three zeros in the denominator so there should be three digits after the decimal in the answer so the answer will be 0.593 kg part b 3 gram so again to convert gram into kilogram we need to go three steps upward so the denominator will be 1000 so 3 divided by 1000 unit will get changed into kilograms so if the denominator is having three zeros there should be three digits in the answer after decimal but we have only one digit so before that we need to put two zeros to make it three not after it but before it we will put zeros so the answer will be 0. 003 kg okay so this is how you can write the answer fine now part c 18009 means 18009 grams again if we have to convert grams into kilograms we need to divide this unit by 1000 and when we will divide it by 1000 so what we have to do if the denominator is having three zeros write the numerator and counting from the right side before three digits put decimal it means after decimal there should be three digits in the answer so the answer will be 18.009 kg and if you will divide it using long division method then also you will get the same answer now next is part d 1 kg 793 g so again we need to convert this 793 g into kgs so 1 kg will be written as it is and to get uh, to convert grams into kilograms we need to divide it by 1000 so 793 divided by 1000 the unit will get changed into kilograms now 1 kg will be written as it is and when we will divide 793 by 1000 we will get 0.793 because if the denominator is having three zeros write the numerator and put decimal counting from the right side before three digits so it will be 0.793 now you add both these units that is 1 kg and 0.793 kg like this so you will get 1.793 kg now why we have written 1 kg as 1.000 because after decimal we have grams so in grams if we have nothing so we need to put three zeros there should be three numbers in the grams column okay now the next question it is convert into grams now here in this question we will be converting into grams so if we have to convert kg to gram we need to come three steps down so we will be multiplying and we have to multiply by 1000 because we are coming three steps down so 1 2 and 3 zeros will be there along with 1 so 1 kg 20 gram so 20 is already in grams so it will be written as it is till the end till the time we will not add it so 1 kg will be converted into grams so 1 multiply by 1000 the unit will be in grams so it will be 1000 grams plus 20 grams and after addition we will get 1020 grams now next part that is part b it is 0.306 kg so we know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams or as per the formula if we have to come three steps down it means we will multiply 
this 0 0.306 by 1000 and the unit will get converted into grams. So when we will multiply it, we will get 0 0.306000 and to put decimal, if in the question we have three digits after the decimal, so in answer also there should be three digits after the decimal. So if we have zeros, in the after the decimal it means in decimal part or in grams so what is the answer 306 grams will be the answer because after decimal we have only zeros so we can write it as 306 grams now next is part c 2.060 kg now again we have to convert this kg into grams so we need to multiply it by 1000 so after multiplication we will get now let me tell you one thing here that whenever we are multiplying a number by 10 100 or 1000 so we need not to go for long multiplication write the first number then put zeros of the second number and then put the decimal now see how many digits are there after decimal in the question. So it is 3. So in answer also there should be 3 digits after the decimal. So we can write 2060 gram is our answer. Now next part, part D, 89.007 kg. Again to convert this kg into grams, we need to multiply it by 1000. And after multiplication, what we will get? The same number, 89007 and 3 zeros of this 1000. And now put the decimal. So in question, there are three digits after the decimal. So in answer also, there will be three digits after the decimal. And in decimal part, we have only zeros. So we can write 89007 gram is the answer. Now the next question is question number three. Richa bought 0 0.5 kg butter. She told her mother that she has bought 50 gram butter. Now she bought butter in kgs, but she is telling her mother that she has bought butter in grams. So was she right? Now we have to check. Okay. If not, what should be the correct answer? So if butter she bought is in kgs and what she is telling her mother is in grams, it means we need to convert the uh, butter that she bought in kgs. We have to convert it into grams and then we can check whether she is correct or not. Fine. So solution will be Richa bought butter is equal to 0 0.5 kg. Now first of all let us convert it into grams because she is telling her mother that uh, she has bought the butter that is 50 gram only. Okay so 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. So if we have to convert into grams we need to multiply by 1000. So 0 0.5 multiply by 1000 unit will be in grams. Now Whenever we multiply a number by 10, 100 or 1000, we can directly write the answer. Okay. So write 0, 5 and then 3 zeros of this 1000 and then put decimal. So in question, if there is only one digit after the decimal, so in answer also there should be one digit after the decimal. So we can write 500 gram. So it means how much butter she has bought. She has bought 500 gram butter. But she is telling her mother that she has bought 50 gram butter. It means she is not correct. But she told her mother, her mother that she had bought 50 gram butter. So we can say she was not right. She bought 500 gram butter. Now next is question number 4. Atul ordered for 1 kg 30 gram rice. The shopkeeper weighed 1.30 kg rice for him. Did he get the correct weight? If not, what should be the correct weight? It means... Atul ordered for how much rice? 1 kg, 30 gram rice. Now what shopkeeper weighed? He weighed 1.30 kg. It means he is uh, just uh, weighing the uh, rice in kgs. Okay. So we have to, it means we need to convert this whole rice that he had ordered into kgs. Then only we can check that whether it is correct or not. Okay. So, did he get the correct weight? If not, what should be the correct weight? So, let's check it. Rice ordered by Atul, 1 kg, 30 gram. Rice weighed by the shopkeeper, 1.30 kg. So, let us convert what she had, what he had ordered. That is, Atul had ordered. Fine. So, uh, 1 kg, 30 gram. We have to convert into how, uh, which unit? Kgs. So if we have to convert into kgs, we need to divide by 1000 because 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. Okay. So 1 kg will be written as it is and 30 grams will be divided by 1000 to make it kg. Fine. 
so 1 kg will be as it is and when we will divide 30 by 1000 it means we will write the numerator 30 and then there should be three digits after the decimal so we have only two digits that is 3 and 0 so we need to put 1 0 before it to make it three digits fine we can't put 0 after this number but we have to put 0 before this numerator fine so 0 0.030 kg now add 1 kg and 0 0.03 kg like this fine so answer will be 1.030 kg it means he did not get the correct weight fine so correct weight should be 1.030 kg but the shopkeeper weighed only 1.30 kg it means it is in